Hello friends, this video on NEET genetics is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 10. How many different kinds of gametes will be produced by a plant having the genotype capital A, capital A, capital B, small b, capital C, capital C? So here we are basically talking about three genes A, B and C with their alleles respectively. So here if you look at each of these genes, so the first gene A, so this is present in the homozygous condition. If you look at B, it is present in heterozygous condition and for C again it is present in homozygous condition. Right. So what are the possible gametes that can be formed from this genotype? So the possible first possibility is A, capital B and capital C. So the first possible gamete would be capital A, B, C. What would be the second possible gamete? So the second possible gamete will again be capital A because anyways A has only capital A. So the second possibility could be capital A, small b and capital C again because A and C both of them just have the capitals with them. So the second possibility could be capital A, small b, capital C because anyways you cannot have any further possibilities with A or C. So these are the only possible gametes. So how many possible gametes do you have? You have two possible gametes. So therefore, D would be the correct option. Now there is another formula just to find this out in short curve. That is the number of gametes produced, number of types of gametes produced is given by 2 to the power n where n represents the number of heterozygous pair. So in this problem, how many heterozygous pair you have? So you have three pairs, right? A, B, C. So in out of these three pairs, how many are heterozygous? Only B is heterozygous. So you have only one heterozygous pair. That means n is equal to 1 in this case. So therefore, the number of types of gametes produced in this case would be 2 to the power 1, which is 2. Question number 11. In order to find out the different types of gametes produced by a pea plant having the genotype capital A small a, capital B small b, it should be crossed with to a plant with the genotype. Okay. So, as I have mentioned before also that in, if you want to find out the genotype of an, undi, uh, of an unknown individual or if you want to find out the number of gametes that would be produced by an individual, what is that type of cross which you will prefer? So this is always going to be a test cross. And what is a test cross? Test cross is that cross which we perform to find out the genotype or the number of gametes that would be produced by an individual. And in order to find that out, we, cro we cross that unknown individual with homozygous recessive individual. That means out of these four options, which is homozygous recessive. So basically you need to cross this with its homozygous recessive form, which is this. So therefore option D is the right option. Question number 12. A woman with normal vision, but whose father was colorblind, marries a colorblind man. Okay. Suppose that the fourth child of the couple was a boy. This boy must have colorblind, must have color, uh, normal color vision, will be partially colorblind since he is heterozygous for the colorblind mutant allele. Must be colorblind, may be colorblind or may be of normal vision. Okay, so let's talk about the woman and the man first. So as the question says that the woman has normal vision but her father was colorblind. Now as we all know that colorblindness is a sex linked recessive, it follows sex linked recessive inheritance. So since it is sex linked, so here gender plays a role. Now anybody who is affected or who is colorblind would have, if a female is, a, is colorblind then the genotype would be XCXC. If a male is colorblind then the genotype would be XCY. Now here the woman has normal vision but her father was colorblind. Now since her father was colorblind therefore the X chromosome of the woman would have come from the father. As we know that whenever a father is colorblind at least one X chromosome 
chromosome but that is one x affected chromosome would come to his daughter so therefore since the woman is not color blind therefore her genotype would be xcx where she is a carrier of the color blind gene but she is not color blind okay and what about the man the man is color blind because she marries a color blind man so therefore the man would be x c y now let us see the possibility of the gametes that would be produced from this man and woman so they are something like this now what would be the possibility of their children being color blind let's find that out so this would be x c x c x c y x c x and xy so these would be the possibility so this 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 is a female child who would be color blind this is a male child color blind this is a female child unaffected but carrier and this is a male child which is normal now we have to find out what about the possibility of a boy being color blind so here if you see this is a boy who is a color blind and this is a boy which is normal right so that means that you have both the possibilities there is a possibility that you might have a normal boy there is also a possibility that you might have a color blind boy so therefore the fourth child which is a boy may be color blind or may be of normal vision question number 13 a normal woman whose father was color blind is married to a normal man so in this case again the woman is normal but her father was color blind since father was color blind so the woman will have a career that is she will have that effect uh, color blind gene but only on one x chromosome so this would be the woman and what about the man the man is normal so this is the woman and this is the man now let us see what type of gametes they would produce x c and x and here it would be x y so let's look at the type of children that they would produce in the next generation something like this that is x c x x c y x x x y so when you look at the children you have to say the sons would be so what is the possibility that the sons would be color blind all sons would be color blind 75% of the sons will be color blind or 50% of them will be color blind or all would be normal so first then look at the sons so this is a son this is a son so if you look at it this is a normal son and this is a color blind son that means one out of two sons would be color blind so if you convert it into percentage you can say that 50% of the sons would be color blind so the right option is b thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you